That is my pickums for the final stage of Masters Madrid. Um, so originally I would have thought that KC would have been up here, but uh, Paper X in my original like pickums, I thought that KC was going to be up here, and there was going to be a grand finals between Sentinels and KC. But the EMEA overall, I think, underperformed um, overall, or maybe they performed to their level, but their level wasn't enough um, potentially as well. Um, so we end up with these four teams. Uh, I think Paper X is one of those teams that if they perform well on the day, can definitely take games off you. However, I don't think it's possible versus Genji or Sentinels to do that. I think Loud is going to be the only team where if they perform well, they can actually take series off. Um, so for me, Genji is going to be Paper X and Sentinels is going to be Loud. Um, although I do think that this match is pretty close. Loud and Sentinels have clashed quite a bit. And while Sentinels have been coming out top recently, I do think that Sad Hack especially... It has that like sad hack like I have a lot of confidence with teams that have sad hack usually just complete just load uh, at the moment but when sad hack is um, has time to like cook basically he's going to probably find ways to beat your team um, I do have that cut talk that kind of confidence in sad hack and honestly that on the rest of load as well I think Kevin Zine's one of the best players in the world less one of the best players in the world so hard to fool them um, and they could definitely. Uh, I think I think any of the four teams really could make it into the finals. I think Paper X is probably the least likely, but I think Paper X could easily make a Cinderella run through the lower bracket too. So we'll have to see. Um, so I think in this game, I think Paper X might end up getting the better of Loud. Um, but I think if you want to be more realistic about it, uh, I do think that Loud have more chance. I just think that Paper X, I feel like this is like a game, the type of game they might upset. Um, so I do think it's more likely Loud will win. But I can see this is like a 55% chance that Laird will win. Like, I think Paper X have a decent chance to uh, to, to beat them here. Genji versus Sentinels is kind of like the the finals already. And the pretty much the one the top one and the top two team uh, going up against each other, in my opinion, like Genji and Sentinels. And I do think that this can go either way. This is literally like a 51% to 49% type victory for, in my opinion, Sentinels. But I could easily see Genji winning. Genji versus Laird. Um, is a pretty crazy matchup. So, um, if we talk about like uh, other possibilities, like if a Paper X and Gen G end up meeting here, I definitely would put Gen G winning. But because it's Load Gen G, even though Gen G did beat Load already, I can see Load once again sad hat cooking and and actually winning this, and then we end up with a Sentinels Load final. But I can also I think it's more than likely that Gen G will end up winning. Also, as a side note as well, if Gen G end up winning this one and Paper X end up winning this one. I'm not sure how this one will actually go. I think this is like this is probably the the way that Paper X will end up making it into finals if there is a chance for them. Um, although I do think Sentinels is the best team, I think Paper X if they perform well on the day, I think have more chance of beating Sentinels than Jinji personally. Um, so this is kind of how I want how I think it's going to go uh, with Jinji and Sentinels once again meeting in the finals, where once again we're going to just coin flip the match, and I do think that Sentinels is going to win again. So maybe not necessarily a coin flip. Um, but I do think they are slightly favoured um, against Genji. Um, but I can also see Genji winning. Uh, I think Genji are one of the most talented breakout teams this year. Um, I think EMEA also have some really talented breakout teams this year as you know, none of the old teams made it through EMEA. Um, and I do think that Fnatic are going to come back with a vengeance this year, or like the rest of the year for EMEA. So I think we'll only see one other team from EMEA other than Fnatic reaching these international events now um uh, maybe just i have a, a dub overconfidence in how i think Fnatic will perform um so i think we'll only uh, we'll only see kc or team heretics in future events unless there's three slots for available for me in the future so yeah um that's gonna be my my pickums honestly these are like pretty like i expect these pickums to be for most players most people um to be honest like this is like pretty in my opinion like like i've played like the, the most likely odds in my pickums here. Um, but I would love to see like a Paper X Cinderella run through the lower bracket or even through the higher bracket, the upper bracket potentially. Um, I'd love to see them make a run. Um, that would be really, really exciting. I also would love to see Load take games off teams that have already beat them like Genji. Uh, maybe this this would be quite exciting as well. Less so exciting for the finals overall really to America's teams. Um, but then, but this game in particular, if Load win, would be pretty cool to watch, I reckon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.